Hey everyone, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today we're going over a mail call and a DC box. I think most people know what's in this, but I'm finally getting mine. So we'll start off with our mail call, and let's bust this open right here. This is from Eagle Moss, so this should be uh, my newest chess pieces. My newest Marvel chess pieces. And I said this before and I'm going to do it sometime. Um, let you guys see the entire collection of Marvel and DC uh, figures. Oh. Uh, I hate this because the, the wrapper they put in always sticks to the tape. But hey, you know what? At least they bubble wrap them really good. And that's, that's what's important. Alright. We start out with... Let's see which one is first. We start off with get the books out. They're stuck on the bottom. Hold on one second. There we go. We start off with Mr. Sinister, which looks really, really cool. Look at that. That's a rook from the chess set. And one thing I always love about these is they give you a good book to go with it. Um, kind of tell you about the character and nice artwork on the back. That's awesome artwork right there. That is awesome. But, you know, it gives you a story of, of the character and, and everything in it. So I love the book that goes with it. But some of the Marvel characters I just do not know. But that's a cool picture. Look at that. That's awesome. Mr. Sinister. So I love getting that with it. And let's bust open the... the the, the piece so would be sure it's not broken um and i've said this before and i'll say it again uh eagle moss is probably the best company when it comes to damaged merchandise they will immediately send you a, all you gotta do is call them they'll send you a, a new piece immediately no questions it's like it's broke all right we'll ship you a new one you just gotta do it within the like the first uh, week that you have the figure and uh, maybe, maybe maybe two weeks, maybe a week or two, and they'll just no questions. Well, I guess the only question they will ask is, uh, do you you know do you have your uh, shipping number and everything that came with it? But look at that figure. I think these are really amazing looking figures, uh, and they are ceramic or or something like that, and they they so they are easily breakable. So that's why I love the fact that they will easily ship you a new one if anything happens to it. So that's pretty cool. Hmm. Get in there, Mr. Sinister. Uh, well, we'll get him in there in a second. And next, and this is one I was really excited about getting because I knew it was coming out soon. And it is Phoenix. Great character. And again, all oh, the, the artwork. <clears throat> I'm a sucker for good artwork. That to me is an amazing picture. That is something I would like to hang on my wall. I think that is an amazing picture right there. Phoenix and Wolverine. That is awesome. And again, great stuff. There's a statue at my local shop of Phoenix. It looks basically like this right here. And I want that statue so bad. Oh my goodness, I want that. Oh, that's awesome. All new, all different X-Men, number 101. That is from, I don't know what year it is, but that cover of this, this comic right here looks absolutely amazing. So I might be trying to find me uh, some Dark Phoenix uh, cartoon, uh, comics. Look at that. Again, awesome. Love the artwork in these things. And it really adds to the to the character, to the, uh, the chess pieces for me. Some people were just like, it's just a picture, ain't a big deal. I love it. Uh, I'm a big sucker for art. I really am. And that's why many times um, I will get like a regular comic. I might get the variant. Uh, good good artwork. You know, it's got me bought into it. No doubt about it. Let's see if we can get her out of here. Be sure she is in good shape and everything. If I can get this one cut. Doggone it. There it goes. There we go. Let's see, get this one out. I think this is also a rook, isn't it? Ugh. There we go. Oh, that is an amazing looking figure. 
That is awesome. Look at that figure. That that is just an incredible. This is a a, a figure right here. I would love to have a, a big like six inch foot foot uh foot long size uh, statue of this. That would be awesome. Look at that. It's gonna get a good close up. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a little. I can. I know I have too much light, so it puts glares on them. But that is an amazing looking figure. That is awesome. So that's those two. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna set that right there. And now, finally, my DC uh, box. So, uh, I was supposed to come out Black Friday, but I think most places got it um, a couple days early. And I've had people tell me they, they've had them where I'm at, and I have not seen the first one. It seems like most of them are not even put kind of in the in the toy section or where you would normally find your Funkos at your local Walmart. So, but anyway, let's bust this bad boy open. And like I say, I think most people already knows what's in it, but, you know, still mystery style. Let's see, what is this right here? Get this out of there. Come on, buddy. All right, and I, I like they, they wrap them up. They did that for the GameStop ones as well, so I like that. Let me start off with, we got our Two-Face from Batman the Animated Series and I think most of you guys know that this is my favorite animated um, series out there is, is the Batman one. This right here I thought was phenomenal. Not to mention it's where Harley Quinn got her start before she was actually in comics. So that is awesome. A Walmart exclusive. Again, I, I'm not big on Dorbs, but, you know, I'll take Two-Face. And let's see. This right here. I know what this is. This is my Harley Quinn and Popster keychain. Now, this is something I wish I had a second one. I would actually put this on my keychain. I think that is awesome. But as it is, I'm going to put it right back here. Right back. Oh, right there. Oh, if you guys can see this, my belly's in the way. I'm going to put it right here because I have these two little things right here I, I got recently. So I'm going to put Harley right back there with those two. So that looks pretty cool. And let's see what else is in the box. Got paper. Paper's always good to have. All right. We have uh, pint size heroes. It's like Batman, uh, Catwoman, and Harley right there. Um, you know, I'm probably going to save these. And I might put this in uh, a giveaway box when I come up on one. My next one's going to be at 1,000 subscribers, and I'm... Uh, just over 700, so we're slowly getting there. And this one right here, I'm very happy with, that I got this one. And that is the Killer Croc Impopster. I know a lot of people don't like the Impopsters. I do. I do. I think they're cool. They're a little bit different. A little different take on the character. Really, I think they're all pretty much the same design, just a little paint job different. But for me, I like them. I like it's got a little little crease right here. You can't see it, but it's all right. That's okay because I finally got that one, so I'm I'm happy here. And that's all that's in the box. So we got a Dorbs, a Pop, uh, a keychain. Got these bad boys right here, and then also got my my two new uh, chess pieces for Marvel. So again, before long, I'm gonna put do a video for for all of them. Let's see what is that in the fifties now. What is that? 50, 53? Number 54. I'm up to 54. There's 32 chess pieces in a set. So I've got extras. <laughs> I've, got, I've got extras for the, you know, that we can ship, put in and out. What I love about them too is the DC ones as well. Same design. So I can swap in and out. I could have like some DC guys versus Marvel. Have them blended together. So it's awesome. Eagle Moss, definitely. If you, if you like chess, if you don't like chess, if you just like the figures, which I do. I love the figures. I like chess. No one wants to play, but that's okay. But <laughs> uh, that's all I got right now for my mail call. Uh, you guys have an incredible day.